to enter out into that silence that was the city at 8 o'clock of a misty evening in November? To put your feet upon that buckling concrete walk, to step over grassy seams and make your way, hands in pockets, through the silences. That was what Mr. Leonard Mead most dearly loved to do. He would stand upon the corner of an intersection, and peer down long moonlit avenues of pavement in four directions, deciding which way to go, but it really made no difference. He was alone in this world of AD. 2053 or as good as alone, and with a final decision made, a path selected. He would stride off, sending patterns of frosty air before him like the smoke, of a cigar, 